At number six, it's everyone's favourite Danish pop singer, Wigfield, with her 1994 song, Saturday Night. In her video, she doesn't seem to do the dance. I was once in a room with about 300 people all doing the dance. It was my first intimation of what it might be like to attend a fascist rally. And I've been attending fascist rallies ever since. Here she comes. <laughs> Whatever she said. Didi da 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 da. Nimi nimi na na. Didi da da. Didi da da da. I mean, I never had rollers in on a Saturday night. Heated rollers went out in the seventies. Saturday night topped the charts for four weeks in 1994 and got a whole generation up and dancing. For me, it was the first dance craze that was of my generation being in a pub, it coming on, and it feeling important that you did know the moves, that you were being left out. I mean, it's just easy and it's fun and it's drunk proof, isn't it? The moves didn't originate in a dance studio, but on a Spanish beach. The aerobics instructor responsible has never stepped up to take credit, or maybe take the blame, whichever way you look at it. <laughs> Every time he would do his classes on the beach, he would play this track and do this, this dance to the song. Then people went to clubs at night and heard the song, and then just it just moved around. Record labels around, they didn't believe in the song, they didn't like it very much. Um, it was actually a, a song that was built up by, by, by the audience, I mean, by, uh, by the public. People just went on holiday in Spain and in Portugal and, and came back and requested the song. We go on holiday two weeks out of the year, Costa Brava, Costa del Sol, and we crave quite a rubbish song with a bit of a silly dance routine. What's that about? When, when you go there, it's contagious, and you come back and you're like, guys. <laughs> I bet Wigfield loved doing that dance. I just saw people doing these moves, but I, it's not like, oh, I want to learn it too. Because it's not, I'm going on stage, I'm going to do the dance. I always said, I'm never going to do the dance. Because I don't want people to think it's something that we did, you know? Yeah. Stop it, will you? You know, it's a rite of passage. It's just one of those things that I think when you get a bit older, it's it's on the list of things that are valid to look back and hate about yourself. Seventeen years on, Wigfield is still making music, but a different kind of music, the kind you never hear. I used to be quite sick of the song, I think maybe after one or two, three years. Um...